So I'm Vasu Dikshit. I play for my band uh, Swaratma. How many of you have heard of Swaratma? Yes. And my own collective, which is called Vasu Dikshit Collective. And um, I've been doing this for the past 11 years now. Um, right after I finished my post-graduation in filmmaking from National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad. So I studied film and video communication. And I was working in a, a film production house for a couple of years. And music was going on until I thought, uh, this is what I want to do. And uh, I've been doing that now. So I'm from Mysore. How many of you are from Mysore? Shabash. <laughs> so I'm from Mysore, um, which is a very quiet city compared to Bangalore and um, cleaner, people are nicer, they talk more Kannada, <laughs> and uh, I'm one of them. And Mysore is a place which is culturally very, very enriching, whether it's uh, music, art, dance, any of them, and of course, engineering and doctor or medical. So I come from a typical middle class family where most of my mother's side relatives are doctors. So my mom's wish was at least I should become a dentist. So, but she's happy now. Mm, so after I finished my 12th graduation, I decided I want to be an artist. So I didn't tell my parents. I went into the entrance exam of uh, Kava, Chamarajendra Academy of Visual Arts, and I joined uh, Fine Arts. The, the day I had to pay the fee is when I told my mom, you know, I've got through this entrance, I have to pay the fee, today is the last day. She wasn't happy. But then, before she left the office, she said, I've kept the fee on the table. So it's not um, her mistake that she didn't encourage me in the beginning. It's just that she was not exposed to a profession like arts and music. Of course, like I said in Mysore, everyone wants to send their kid to either music or dance or um, you know, any of the other theater but until you want to make it a profession. So I have crossed that bridge. And uh, so like I said, I'm from Mysore. I keep traveling from Bangalore to Mysore. And one of these journeys in a train, there was this interesting conversation between an um, old lady and few young men. And this was when the Kaveri issue was the hot topic. And the old lady was saying, you know what? You can't control the river. The river has to flow. The young men were, I believe, were from the agricultural background because they had the green shawl. And so they said, but what about us? Namdu, Niru, Raitro, Gadde. All that. So the fight and the conversation was interesting. And uh, I was in the same compartment. So near Sri Patna, when the old lady was getting down, she said, good, but think about what the river is feeling. You fight, do whatever you want, but what is the river feeling? Have you ever thought about that? So that gave birth to a song, which uh, I sing with my band Swaratma, and it is one of our most well-known song. It's called Pyasi. I'm going to present that to you. Thank 
को पिला के थक गई हूँ मोड़ों पे रुक गए प्यासी हूँ मैं तुमको पिला के थक गई हूँ मोड़ों पे रुक गए प्यासी हूँ मैं तुमको पिला के थक गई हूँ मोड़ों पे रुक के अश्क तो बहने दो पानी हो पानी रहने दो कहा से आई कहा से आई कहा है जाना की बोली बोलना है अब कहा से आई कहा है जाना किसी की बोली बोलना है अब किसने खेल रचाया पुतला बना के तुमको नचाया रे गई हूँ मोड़ों पे रुक के अश्क तो बहने दो पानी हूँ पानी रहने दो सिंह दुम न दुम न देर दुम न दुम न दुम न देर दुम न सिंह Sing for the water that you drink, water that you bathe in. Dum na dum na dir dum na. Piyasi hu ma. Piyasi. I saw the clock and I reduced the stanzas. So, like Shri Ram was saying, I've of late been singing in public spaces. Um, I don't care if someone comes and stops me, because I just sing one song and run away. And so, I've been um, singing in the BMTC bus, in the airplane, and in the um, airport, and everywhere. It just so nice to see the expression on people when you suddenly just take your guitar and start singing. They they don't know whether to clap, whether to be reporting to the in charge over here. Is this guy mad? <laughs> so 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 I do it because I like doing it. So I have been um, thinking, why do I do what I am doing for? long time i didn't know i thought because i'm just talented <laughs> and it's so nice to be a rock star <laughs> but mm, as swaratma we do something called the action replay shows where we go and play at places where people can't come to our live shows be it uh, an old age home or a leprosy center or um, um orphanages it's so nice to play for them for something that gets fulfilled in us. Um, so it's not because we don't do any CSR program or none of that, because we love to reach out to those people who can't probably come and sit in an auditorium here and watch us. So in one of those shows where we were playing at a blind school, 
in Pune. And um, I go to the audience and interact with them, make them stand up, dance, and all that. So I was making them get up, dance. The kids wanted to touch and feel because that's how they also respond to sound and touch. So one of the boys held me. And that time I had an afro like this. So immediately he was scared. And then he still wanted to touch. And he held my throat. And um, I couldn't sing for the two seconds. Because I, for the first time, I felt someone has held my voice. You can hear a voice, but you can't touch a voice. So that kid held my voice for the two seconds and left it. I didn't know what to do with it, but I had to continue. I had to finish the song. I finished, and I couldn't go back and meet them like we would otherwise do after a show. So that gave me an answer. Then why am I singing? So I still keep singing, hoping that someday I'll feel that two seconds again, somewhere. <laughs> so while I sing, you guys are also most welcome to sing this song. I'm sure they've given you the lyric sheet. One side of it is in Kannada, it is not Telugu. And the other side is in English. If you want any other language, you can sing in between. So, so this one's a Purandar Dasa song. Purandra Dasa is a 14th century saint poet of India. I wouldn't say Karnataka. So he's um, written and I've done my own tune and it's called Ragi Tandira which means have you brought the Ragi? But he has used the word Ragi as a verb and a noun very intelligently. So I guess I will sing like one and a half verse. <laughs> okay. No. I'll sing the first and the last one so that I do some justice to it. So this one's called Ragi Tandira. You all get ready to sing with me. Ragi Tandira, Bhikshake Ragi Tandira. Ragi Tandira, Bhikshake Ragi Tandira. You can do better. Ragi Tandira, Bhikshake Ragi Tandira. Yogya Ragi, Bhogya Ragi, Bhagya Vanta Ragi. Yogya Ragi, Bhogya Ragi, Bhagya Vanta Ragi. Bhagya Vanta Ragi Nivu. Ragi Tandira, Pikshake Ragi Tandira. Come on. Pikshake Ragi Tandira. Anna Danava Madu Ragi, Anna Chatravan Nitava Ragi. Anna Danava Madu Ragi, Anna Chatravan Nitava Ragi. Anya Vartea Pitava Ragi, Anudina Bajanea Madu Ragi. Anya Vartea Pitava Ragi, Anudina Bajanea Madu Ragi. Ragi Tandira, Pixake Ragi Tandira. Pixake Ragi Tandira. Okay, I jump to the last verse. But you have to do a small exercise before I do that. You will know why. Sirira manana dina nene yuvaragi, guru tige baho ranthavaragi. Sirira manana dina nene yuvaragi, guru tige baho ranthavaragi. 
ಕರೆದರ ಭವವನ್ನು ನೀಗುವರಾಗಿ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲನ ಸೇವಿಪರಾಗಿ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲ ಕರದರ ಭವವನ್ನು ನೀಗುವರಾಗಿ ಪುರಂದರ ಬಿಠಲನ ಸೇವಿಪರಾಗಿ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಭಿಕ್ಷಕ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಯೋಗ್ಯರಾಗಿ ಭೋಗ್ಯರಾಗಿ ಭಾಗ್ಯವಂತರಾಗಿ ಭಾಗ್ಯವಂತರಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಕ್ಲಾಪ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಭಿಕ್ಷಕ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಕಮಾನ್ ಕಿಪ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಿಪ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಭಿಕ್ಷಕ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ ಭಿಕ್ಷಕ ರಾಗಿ ತಂದಿರ Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Vasu Dikshit. I'm there on Facebook, Instagram, and wherever. You can find me on airports and B- BMTC bus and, and TEDx talks next time. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>